market where I'm going to have my crab legs because if not, I'm really going to cry today because I always get my crab legs for Valentine's Day. And it's too late for me to put my order in at the other place. So, yeah. Good morning. Good, good morning. Good, good morning. Uh, girls, telling you. We're gonna get drunk and make bad decisions in public places. For you, Yvette, as delightful as that sounds, mm. this is a hard Today, to today, to today, to today, today. It's Tuesday, February, Valentine's 2023, and I have a Valentine. Like I always had a Valentine, my husband. <laughs> but yeah. I don't know why he book an appointment on Valentine's Day. He know I don't like to go out on Valentine's Day. And only why I am going because I keep canceling this appointment all the time. So I have to go in there today. So, and then over there, I want to go to the meat market because the meat market over there is cheaper. And then there's a fish market right next door. So I'm going to go in and see if they have my crab legs. But you know... Certain areas doesn't carry the king crab legs because they don't sell them out. So they always sell them little small crab legs. So I want some meaty, meaty crab legs. So if I can't get my crab legs over there, I'm going to come home. I'm going to order it from Instacart and see if Instacart have my king crab legs. But Food Bazaar always have them extra expensive around the fucking holiday. I don't understand. Cash gadget is real out here in this world. I'm like, literally, everybody is always raising their fucking prices. Like Super Bowl. My corner store. There's one little can. I bought six of these and it was like 14 fucking dollars. Any other time, these should be like $9 in June. Like everything went up high. Everything went up high. Everything was just fucking expensive. It's like we never got nothing done. You know, I did my dinner. I did. But I know this now. When I do homemade pizza, like put the cheese on the bottom and then I put the pepperoni, but then I add extra cheese on top. What I should have did is waited till the pizza was all the way done and then threw the extra cheese so it didn't look that dark. When the top of my pizza look dark, but let me tell you something. When you warm that pizza up and you bite into that damn pizza, that shit is popping. Like, I really did my thing on a homemade pizza for uh, Super Bowl. My wings was good. My shrimps was done. I did stuff um, plans. And I did, um, my husband had raw shrimp. So, yeah. So this is early on, in, early, early evening, Valentine's Day, because I know everybody's going to be getting off work today. Everybody's going to be going out to eat. Everybody's going to be looking up and, you know, having fun today. So I'm just wishing everybody a blessed day today. Because, yes, I am highly blessed. Yes, I have been depressed, y'all. I am so sorry I haven't posted no videos out there for y'all. But I'm just explaining to y'all that last two weeks, I have been going through some serious pains and I was irritated. And then one of my computers stopped working. Then the other one started working. Now all of a sudden, now this one don't want to work. So I don't know what's going on. In a possibility, next month, I am just going to go ahead and buy me a tower for my computer, for computer, because I love these um, tablets and stuff and hooking into the TV and stuff and making big TV screens as my um, think is good. But the motor of the tablets is not good at all. So, yeah, that's what I need to work on this week. Next week. Because I get my check next week. I should be Friday or maybe Thursday. I should be getting my check next week. So, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and just order that. And then I'm going to go ahead and pay the extra two, is it 290 or 270 to, um, Telebrand, so I can finish getting my um, I number and my bank account and stuff. So once I get all of that set up, then I can actually go ahead and try to get like a small business, black like own loan or something. Cause I already know what I want to sell on my um on my on my on my page. I want to start selling the man manic eyelashes, and I want to start selling this eyelash. It's real good. It's like natural, and you just put it on your eyes, and it actually make eyelashes longer without putting eyelashes and stuff on. 
So yeah, and then there's some, this other lipstick that I love, like this one I got on. Like I could just rub it, and it's nothing, nothing come off. You can eat and drink, and it won't come off. That's another thing I would like to do for my channel. It's like stuff that I want to stop giving for people that are at work 24-7 and can't go in the bathroom and fix their eyelashes or go get their eyelashes done for fucking $45 every fucking two weeks. You know, I'm doing stuff that helps everybody else in the long run, you know? Let's see what the kids think. So, yeah. That's mostly what I'm doing. So, yeah. That's mostly what I'm doing. Okay, yeah. I was just checking to see was it showing out there. Yeah, because last time I did a live, I thought I did a live, and it wasn't playing on the outside. But I just went to my YouTube channel, and I see it is running. So, yeah, I am happy about that. So maybe later on in the replay, y'all can just get ahead and just watch the video. I'm mostly just talking about, like I said, going to the doctor today. Today is a kidney appointment, a doctor for my husband. Um, with his body and stuff that's going on, I'm constantly going back to the doctor with him. So, yeah, that's today appointment. Um... To, on Friday, I have an appointment with um, HRA, you know, because my building is, like, really pissing me the fuck off. It's like they have the checks, and they don't want to fuck it. They didn't cash it on time, so now they want us to go out and get HRA to redo the checks for them. So that's what I'm waiting on for HRA to do. So that's what I'm waiting on HRA to do. Other than that. Um, I'm supposed to get up this week and go and get the stuff for my sister. Like, she really, really want me to get up and go get her stuff. And I'm, I'm going to try to get up. It's all about the weather. It's all about how I feel or what my body is going through. You know what I'm saying? Everybody got to understand. I go through muscle spasms. Um, I'm constantly in pain. All my allergies are acting up. Like, this weekend when I did a deep clean of my carpet and stuff, you know, it messed with my allergies and stuff, and it messed with my husband as me too. So that's why he's been on the machine the last couple of days. And I didn't know what was going on. But um, this week I'm going to go in my room too, and I'm going to actually vacuum, pull up that carpet and vacuum that carpet in the bedroom because I think that's what's bothering his nose and stuff. I already cleaned out the vents in the AC, so it's not the AC vents, and it's not time for me to, check to clean the vents yet. So I know that's not what it is. So other than that, um, I'm literally just sitting here just trying to figure out what else could be aggravating my allergies. Um, I wiped down the bathroom wall this weekend because I understand what my husband was saying about us smoking in the bathroom and stuff and a lot of that smoke was on the wall so i did, did a lot of that cleaning and stuff i did a lot of cleaning this weekend and then i got ready for super bowl then i got up yesterday and tried to wash most of the dishes but then this between last night and this morning i was in still pain and still tired i don't know my body was like worn out and tired a lot so i did go through that you understand so i'm i'm, I'm well rested today because, like I said, I made myself go back to sleep last night because I didn't want to be too tired today to get up and do what I need to, to do. And I didn't want to be aggravated, so I did take my medicine for that. Um, and this clinic that we're going to, I don't never have an attitude problem with them. It's like we get in, we get out, you know, it's fast. It's nothing that it always takes longer than maybe an hour or something like that. But then I got to realize that office over there is really, is really, really, really small. So I took out my husband walker too, but I'm going to ask him, do you want to use my walker? Because his walker is real big. So it's like hard to get through that little office area and stuff. So I'm going to ask him if you want to use my walker today. Because that is my walker would be easy to get in and out of the doctor's office and up to. But you got to do um another EKG on his liver. I think it's, I don't know how EKG work. You know, when they check the stomach and stuff, I mean, the liver to make sure the liver's doing okay, the liver count and all that. So all that got to get done today because the last time he'd been there was last year and I kept canceling appointments. Every time we had an appointment, I had to cancel because I wasn't feeling good. I woke up that morning, I wasn't feeling good or I had an appointment on myself to take care. Of. So I really have to go in there today to do that with him. Um but I, I am coming back live tonight. I'm going. I'm gonna start going live twice a day from now on. I'm gonna go early in the morning and then I'm gonna go late in the evening and stuff. So 
everybody just stay with me and stuff. I just here to let y'all know that happy Valentine's Day. May y'all stay safe out there. And if y'all going out with your, your man, your woman, or whoever you're with, just stay safe. You understand? And just watch your surroundings. Because a lot of stuff is happening nowadays, and it's really bad. So just watch your surroundings, y'all. And enjoy your day. I will be back with y'all later on today. Um... Yeah, I'm going to go ahead and finish getting ready. All I got to do is actually throw on my shirt. I'm actually already dressed. I got my shoes done. I'm going to go ahead and wear this um, cap. I put these in my hair. What, Saturday? I just, my old braids that my home attendant had, and I just crocheted my dress back into my hair. You know, because it was Valentine, and I just wanted to look a little cute for the holiday. But I am going to go ahead and take these back out um, after my meeting on Friday. And... I should need to get out before Friday because my hair needs to be washed and my best and my home attendant needs to braid my hair again because it's like really, really like lifting, lifting. So I was just thinking about ordering me some new, um, I want the color. I love black. I'm, I love black. I love, I'm a black. Yeah, everybody know I wear black a lot, but I want to see if they have this in my blue because I would love to mix this with blue and black, you know? And just just trying to get ready. Next month is I just want to do stuff. I want to get up. I really want to go head over to Manhattan. I need to actually book pay my tickets this month and book a day for next month to go over to the um picture place. And I'm gonna need to go ahead and do some pictures and stuff. Um, I'm waiting for my cousin to get back from Atlanta. Cousin, when you see this, hurry up and get back because I do need my intro. Um, you know, and I had to wait for, I got to wait for him to come in, come back in because something happened in Atlanta and he went out there to go check on his family and stuff. So I'm waiting for my cousin to come back in and stuff. But other than that, you know, hey, there's nothing I can do. You know, I'm housebound. Everybody should know this by now. I have asthma. I have bronchitis. I have spinal damage. I have muscle damage. I got arthritis. <laughs> you know, they call me to walk in pharmacy in my house. <laughs> Because always, I'm always on a different mess. Like, certain days I might feel like I need to take this because this is more hurting. You know, it's just life. Life is out there, and this is what I have to do. This is how I'm living. So, everybody, I just love y'all. Love y'all, love y'all, love y'all. I haven't been online too long. So, I'm just telling to tell you that God will never give you nothing that you can't handle. Stay safe. And um, from Altonese TV, from Altonese Life to your life, I want you to say... I want to say to you, I love you and stay safe. And I'll be back live later.